Hello YouTube, how are you doing? So for the next few days we're going to be doing something a little bit different to my channel. We're taking a break from, you know, recording games and stuff. Plus I haven't really been doing too much recording lately, so that's another reason why I'm doing this. Instead of our daily little videos on YouTube, we are going to be doing some stuff. It relates to a story that I'm doing. Don't mind me right now, I'm eating something very delicious, so I'm going to be cutting little pieces of the, of the video. Yeah, very, very chewy, very goddamn chewy. Mm. So, as you all may not know, there has been this series for a while that I've been doing since 2009. It started out as a role play, and it started to become something something a little bit more how can you say it exciting than just a role play I'm like so sorry you guys have to hear me but this shit is like delicious it's delicious it's a very delicious one So for the next few videos, we are going to be talking about the story I'm doing called the Exil series. And basically, it's about this character. And I would like to explain the story from beginning to end, but it is quite a few years into the story that I've been doing. So it's going to take like forever to sum up the plot. And oh my God. Mm. So it'll really take me forever, you know, to explain this crap to you because it started out as this character that did not know who he was, where he was from, or any of all that stuff. So he had no past since he was the age, I would consider it 16. So no past whatsoever. So... The series is mostly about him trying to find himself. But despite that, he had to adopt to Earth first. So here he is as this young kid or young child or whatever. And he's raised in this village that basically teaches martial arts and all this stuff. And their military is more, how can I say, Naruto like. So. <laughs> He learns and adapts to these ways and all this crap and ends up joining, joining the uh, ninja military. So through this, he finds that there's not really, when there's like these big battles and shit, and he's fighting in these wars, there's always this one person that's at normal and can like wipe out a whole army with one attack. That's when Exul would step in instead of, you know, it'll show the sense where he beats up a couple of dudes and then he looks at that dude that's all powerful and shit and be like, oh, that's the guy I should be fighting. And then this big ass battle just happened on a battlefield where all the other soldiers just try to fucking run away. <laughs> so he found. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I just had like a lot of caffeine and sugar. <laughs> And so, what ends up happening is he finds that he's not really the only person that's at normal. And he looks at these opponents that he fights as clues and leads to who he might be. So, eventually, after a while, that's not enough for him. And all the scars of war and losing all his allies and stuff finally gets to him. But that never did stop him. He did continue on as a warrior. But he did quit the military of the ninja faction. So after that. I can't believe I'm explaining all this. And of course. There's lots of stories in the uh, ninja military. But I'm just summing it up real quickly. i give you guys an overview. So after that. He joins. He goes on this mission. As a mercenary for himself I think. I think it was a bounty or 
whatever. I forgot how he got into it. So he ends up going to this faculty base or some type of space center or shuttle shuttle area. He's going on some type of mission that he's assigned there or he thinks that it's a mission that he's assigned to go there. And what something ends up going wrong and then the alarm goes off and all this shit and he's trying to run and he ends up getting to this shuttle because I guess he was chasing after somebody and it seemed that he got into the shuttle. He ends up going into this shuttle that launches him into space. To his surprise, he ends up at this colony that's in space. And this is where the colony series comes into play. Which is like the best series I've ever did still to this day. And that was like 2010 and 2011 and 2012. The colony series is basically half of the Exul series. So now he's in space. And there's this colony space military. It's basically a universal military that kind of defends all planets. Like... <laughs> <laughs> this is another funny part of the series. <laughs> so, you have these abnormal people that can, like, strong enough to terrorize planets. And the colony's job is to send out warriors or elites to fight these abnormal things to, you know, keep the universe safe from all these powerful ass beings. So, you can already know that there's not just normal people on the colonies, there are these elites which are humanly trained people, but it's mostly filled with these powerful, what do you say, inhumans, or whatever you want to call them. So, Exor immediately adapts to that uh, environment. Alongside, I don't know when this series came in, he meets these two characters, which now there's three main characters. Exor, the main main character, Mana and Hintiji. So the story about how Zul met Mana is another series that's going to take forever to sum up. And then Hintiji is another one of the characters that ends up becoming Exul's friends and they become, all three of them become partners and shit. So all three of them join the colonies. Different stories and backgrounds but all end up in the same damn place. So you already know how that goes. So basically him uh, Mana and Hintiji, they become an assigned squad, so they're always together throughout missions and shit. Now, Zanti, he's in a series before the Exul series, but I put Zanti in the Exul series because it's related to the colonies. So I did two colony series. So you could think of the Zanti, <laughs> the Zanti series before the Exul series. So. <clears throat> And give me a second. So, so yeah. Two colony series. Zanti, I'm going to tell you straight up because Zanti plays a lot of comedy parts in this series. He's always getting beat up. He's always doing this acting stupid. <laughs> but in the Zanti series, the original one, before the Exo series, he was a pretty badass character. He's an experiment by the colony's leader, the commander, which in the Exul series is also called the commander. The commander is like Exul's father at the same time as his father and all this other stuff. They have a like a real, real close, strong bond. Like the commander is always watching over Exul and always expect him to succeed, and do well, and all this shit. So he sends him on these deadly ass missions where he always almost gets killed and shit. And then uh, the commander always knows that he's going to make it out no matter the situation. Even if it takes <laughs> however long or if even if he struggles for however long, he's not like going to step in and help him because this is something he has to overcome and he knows he's strong enough to overcome it. So the commander created Zanti. We're going back to the Zanti. Zanti Zegaza series is what I called it. We're going back to the Zanti series. The commander created Zanti. Zanti is like this. It's it's just so much stuff in this series. Because there's more to this and then there's more to that. And it's all explained in future series and 
one series after another. <clears throat> so while I explain one thing, it's more to it in the next sense, and then there's more to it in an other sense after that next sense. It's just crazy. So <clears throat> Xanti's like this. I don't even know how to describe it. He is created. He's an experiment. First of all, he has this metal in his body, which he can manipulate. It's kind of alienish. Uh, alienish metal because the way he can manipulate it but basically it's supposed to act as antimantium kind of like wolverine but at the same time it's supposed to do other shit so it's basically alien metal or what do you want to call it alien substance inside his goddamn body that <clears throat> covers most of his bones i guess you would call it some type of layer like a symbiote layer or whatever but yeah, so it can't break no matter what the fuck you do. It's harder than fucking adamantium. It won't fucking break. But there is this one part in the Exul series where <laughs> Xanti and Exul fights, and that's also funny. I'll talk more about that in the next video. Cause it's a good set. Back when I did it, back a couple of years ago, it was really funny. Because, well, yeah, I have to tell you guys about it, but... Alright, back to Xanti's creation. So, beside that, Xanti's been through so much bullshit in his series and in the Exil series that you think he ought to be dead by now. But no matter what the hell you do to him, he can't die. Why? Because it's that, um, it's that alien layer that's on his bones or whatever when he was created. Because the commander, he did one hell of a job. That was his only creation that he had created that cannot die no matter what you do to it. <clears throat> so you have Xanti he gets blown up and all this shit and the only thing you see left is his fucking metal skeletal shit and then it just I don't know what the hell it does it just generates his body back over the fucking metal and then there's this part where he gets his body blown so bad that you can't even see the metal like there's nothing left of him but then the metal reforms and then his body reforms out there and shit. And you think he's supposed to be dead because he don't have no metal no more and shit. So it's kind of, it's it's just something else. So I kind of lost track where I was, <clears throat> while well, I was explaining back in the Exil series. So I guess I'll stop this here and then like pick it back up. But anyway, yeah, the next few videos I'm going to be doing is going to be talking about the series and then... I'm going to start, once I explain enough, I'm going to start talking about the series I'm working on right now called Exul Emerald. Oh, God. I swear to God. There's so many plot twists in this series that it's not even funny. That's why I don't like really <clears throat> going back to explaining this type of stuff because it takes too long. Already 13 minutes into the video and I haven't even got out, what, a chapter out yet. So, this is what I'm going to be doing for the next few days or whatnot. If you guys like it, if you want to know more, you know, just just keep watching and I will upload more videos because this is a lot easier than me doing whatever videos I've been doing on this channel. My channel's crazy. It has random stuff on it from when I was like, what, not 13, 14. <clears throat> but please look around to see my videos and I will talk to you guys more about the series in the next video. Doodles.